Welcome to Stars Sports News, your ultimate source for the latest, greatest, and hottest stories in the world of sports. We're thrilled to have you here, so make sure to subscribe our channel. Let's dive right into today's top stories. Senegal stuns Brazil with 4-2 victory as Mane inspires brace in Lisbon friendly. Sadio Mane's double helps Senegal stage an impressive comeback to shock Brazil with a 4-2 triumph in a friendly match held in Lisbon. Brazil's defensive woes and Senegal's clinical finishing proved decisive, marking Brazil's third defeat in four matches. Mane's exceptional performance leaves Brazil searching for a new coach following Tite's departure. Chelsea star Nagolo Kante joins Al Ittihad in record-breaking transfer, joins forces with Karim Benzema. Chelsea's Nagolo Kante leaves for Al Ittihad in a historic move, joining forces with Karim Benzema. The French midfielder signs a three-year contract worth around £86 million per year, becoming the latest high-profile player to join Saudi Arabia's growing football scene. Kante's departure marks the end of his successful seven-year stint at Stamford Bridge. Late Ronaldo goal secures historic win on 200th cap for Portugal. Cristiano Ronaldo's stunning late strike earned Portugal a hard-fought 1-0 victory over Iceland in Euro 2024 qualifying Group J. The goal, scored in the 89th minute, marked Ronaldo's 200th international appearance, making him the first player to achieve this milestone. With the win, Portugal maintains their perfect record in the group, leading with 12 points, two ahead of Slovakia. Pat Cummins' heroics lead Australia to thrilling win over England in first Ashes test. Pat Cummins' unbeaten 44, supported by Nathan Leon, secured a dramatic two-wicket victory for Australia in the first Ashes test at Edgbaston. Australian media praised Cummins' batting display, describing it as the final blow of a rope dope strategy inspired by England's Brendan McCullum and Ben Stokes. The win gives Australia a 1-0 series lead. Australia's grit prevails as England's, Basball, falters, Stokes remains defiant. In a captivating Ashes battle, Australia's resilience overcame England's audacious, Basball, tactics. A remarkable 55-run partnership between Pat Cummins and Nathan Leon secured a narrow victory for Australia. Despite the defeat, England captain Ben Stokes praised his team's fearless approach and commitment to entertaining Test cricket. World's fastest accountant, Amo Dadzi clocks 9.93 seconds in Gras 100 meters, becomes Europe's quickest runner. Eugene Amo Dadzi, a full-time accountant and British athlete, set the track ablaze in Gras, Austria, with a remarkable 9.93 second finish in the 100 meter run. The 30-year-old, who started running seriously just four years ago, now holds the fastest time in Europe this year and sits joint fourth on the British all-time list. Alcaraz survives tough battle on Queen's club debut, sets up second round clash with Leheca. Carlos Alcaraz fought hard for a 4-6, 7-5, 7-6 victory over Arthur Reindicknek in his Queen's club debut. The Spaniard, considered a strong contender for both the Queen's grass court tournament and Wimbledon, overcame a challenging match and expressed confidence for his next round against Jiri Leheca. Germany stunned 2-0 by Colombia, adding to Euro 2024 hosting woes. Germany suffered a 2-0 defeat at home against Colombia in a friendly match, dealing another blow to their preparations for Euro 2024, which they will host. Luis Diaz's header and Juan Cuadrado's penalty secured Colombia's first ever victory over Germany, leaving the home team facing criticism and boos from the crowd. Germany's recent performances have been lackluster, with just one win in their last five matches and mounting pressure on coach Hansi Flick. Gyro d'Italia champion Roglic to skip Tour de France, targets Vuelta a España instead. After his Gyro d'Italia triumph, Primoz Roglic has announced that he will not participate in this year's Tour de France. Instead, the Slovenian cyclist will take a break before focusing on the Vuelta a España. Roglic, a three-time Vuelta winner, also revealed that he will skip the World Championships in Scotland. The Vuelta a España is set to commence on August 26. Pakistani athletes shine on first day of Special Olympics, securing multiple final berths in athletics events. 
Pakistani athletes impressed on the opening day of the Special Olympics World Games in Berlin. Samin Bibi, Muhammad Bashar, Amar Ibrahim, Abdul Hasib, Fiza Abbasi, Man Bibi, Merwise, Muhammad Lukman, Manahil, and Umir Kayani showcased their talents, securing spots in various event finals and semi finals, including the 4x400 mixed relay. Head coach Irfan Anwar expressed satisfaction with their performances. That's all the time we have for today's sports roundup. Thanks for watching Star Sports News. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest sports action.